Hello and welcome to CryptoG. I'm your host, Gary, and today I'll show you how to stake Altura token single staking using Trust Wallet on iPhone. First, you're going to need a Trust Wallet with some Smart Chain BNB and Altura token. If you're not at this point yet, see my other videos on how to set up a Trust Wallet and how to buy Altura token. You'll also need Google Chrome browser, so head over to the App Store and download it now if you don't have it already. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. All right, so let's begin. We'll start by going to our Trust Wallet. You can see we have some Smart Chain BNB and we have Altura. Always keep a balance of Smart Chain BNB so that you can pay for network fees. Okay, let's head over to Google Chrome. We are going to go to staking.alturanft.com. Okay, now that we're here, we can see that we need to connect our wallet. We'll head over to the hamburger menu, tap on wallet. Then we'll tap over on the left-hand side here to clear that menu. We'll tap on wallet connect, and we'll tap on trust. You'll be automatically brought back over to your trust wallet. Now just hang tight here. Sometimes it takes a few moments for this notification to pop. So we'll just wait for it. Oh, there it is. Now tap on connect. Okay, perfect. Now we will manually head back over to Chrome. That box should clear and our wallet is now connected. If we tap on the hamburger menu, now we'll see our wallet address displayed there. All right, we'll scroll down. For this video, we're doing single staking. So we wanna to go to the second box where it says ALU, uses ALU.staking. We'll tap on this box to expand it and scroll down a bit more. And you can see it says balance 3,518, and that exactly matches the balance of Altura token in my wallet. This is what we're going to stake today. So let's go back here and tap on deposit all. We'll be brought back over to the trust wallet automatically, where we have to wait for another pop-up. There's the smart contract call, and we'll tap on confirm. All right, now we manually go back over to the Chrome browser and we get the confirmation there. Deposit successful. And that's it. You'll see the balance goes to zero. And if we scroll down, we'll see deposited now reflects 3,518. Now let's head back over to our trust wallet and see what it looks like there. If we go back to the trust wallet and refresh it. You'll see the balance of Altura now goes to zero. So what we're gonna do next is an optional step. We're going to add a custom token. The token we're adding is a receipt token, and it's the proof that you own this, the Altura token that you just put in the staking pool. So tap on the switches in the top right hand corner and scroll down to the bottom. Whew, that's a long list. Tap add custom token, tap on network, tap on smart chain. Now in the description of this video, you're gonna find this contract address. We want the contract address for the Altura Altura V1ALU token. So copy that and paste that in here. The name, symbol, and decimals will fill in. Tap on save. Tap on manage, tap on done, and we're done. So at the time of staking, each of these Altura V1ALU tokens kind of represents about 18 and a half Altura tokens. Now, a couple notes here. Let's talk about the interest. Um, go back over to the staking site. Okay, so we can see here we have 3,518 deposited. And if we were to come back in a day, we would see that deposited amount automatically going up. Um, a day from now, we would have about 3,521 tokens. And if we held it for a year, we'd have an increase of about 40%, provided the interest rate doesn't change. The interest rate will go down if the size of the pool gets bigger. The interest rate will go up if the size of the pool or the TVL total value locked gets lower. All right, so that's about it for staking. Now let's unstake those tokens so you can see how would you get your tokens out of the pool and back into your wallet. So you would start by going to Google Chrome and going to staking.alturanft.com. 
In this case, the wallet is already connected and it will remain connected if you haven't disconnected it or done something strange like uninstalled Trust or Chrome. Um, so we'll just simply scroll down here and go to alu.staking, expand the box and scroll to the bottom. It shows again, deposit a balance, 3,518. Hopefully you've waited a while and earned some interest. And now we'll just tap on withdraw all. We'll be brought back over to Trust Wallet automatically. Let's wait for the pop-up. I need Jeopardy music here. Hmm. I wonder if YouTube would allow me to play Jeopardy music or if they'd say it's copyrighted. There we go. And as you can see, sometimes it does take a little bit of time for this smart contract call to come up. That was in real time. Let's hit confirm. Let's manually go back over to Chrome and wait a few moments. There, deposited, just switched to zero. And if we scroll up, we'll see balance switches to 35. 18. Okay, let's head back over to Trust Wallet now and refresh it. There we go. Our Altura is back in our wallet, safe and sound. So if you like what you saw, drop me a like. And if you want to see the next thing I put out on YouTube, click on that subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below and I'll reply as quick as I can. Cheers.